What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the M1A1 Carbine. And first up, as always, let's have a look at some of the in real life stats. The M1A1 Carbine is an American semi-auto rifle that fires a 7.62x33 or a 30 carbine round at approximately 750 rounds per minute. Now keep in mind that fire rate is what this rifle is technically capable of achieving, although realistically nobody would be able to fire that fast, especially not accurately. So essentially this rifle will fire as fast as you're able to pull the trigger, and it is also easier to control than something like the M1 Garand because it fires a smaller cartridge and therefore it's a lot easier to control the recoil. Getting into COD World War II, the M1A1 has a damage profile of 40, 35, 30, which means it's always going to be a 3 to 4 shot kill. Our rate of fire cap is 387 rounds per minute, and with rapid fire we can bump that up to 411 rounds per minute. Our statistical minimum time to kill is going to be 310 milliseconds within the 3 shot kill range, and 465 milliseconds in the 4 shot kill range. This is the slowest in the rifle category by a noticeable amount, so it definitely doesn't excel when it comes to time to kill, but it does have some other redeeming qualities. When we get into headshots with the M1A1, it's pretty standard with a 1.1 headshot multiplier, which means that headshots without high caliber are pretty much useless, they're never going to reduce the number of shots it takes to kill in core game modes. But with high caliber, we get a 1.5 times headshot multiplier, which takes our damage profile to a 60, 52, 45. This means in our first damage range, one shot to the body, one shot to the head will get a kill, which is great, and this significantly reduces our time to kill. Within that middle damage range, the standard 35 damage range, it will require both shots to the head to make it a two shot kill rather than a standard three shot kill. And finally, in the four shot kill range or the final damage range, two shots to the body, one shot to the head will be a kill. Moving on to our ranges with this rifle, our three shot kill range extends all the way out to 51 meters, which is very, very good. There aren't too many lines of sight beyond 50 meters in this game that are at least practical. And when we pop advanced rifling on that, it actually doubles this range and it will extend it all the way out to 100 meters, which means it's pretty much always going to be a three shot kill. Even without advanced rifling though, on most maps, in most situations, it's generally still going to be a three shot kill. As for hardcore modes, there's no point in showing you guys a map because the minimum damage is actually 30 with this weapon, which means it's always a one shot kill as long as you're not shooting through something in hardcore modes. As a result, when we look at a bunch of the other stats like our handling stats as well as our accuracy, this is one of the best rifles to use in hardcore. Getting into hipfire, we have really good hipfire with this weapon. It's only beat out by the Gewehr as well as the 1941 Johnson in the rifle category. As for idle sway, this gun, as you can see, has pretty much no idle sway whatsoever, at least not enough that it should ever affect your ability to hit your target. Getting into recoil, this is one of the areas where the M1A1 absolutely excels. As you can see here, it recenters between every single one of your shots, even when you're firing at the maximum fire rate consistently. What this means is this gun has zero recoil. Even if you're spamming it as fast as you possibly can, you're always going to be perfectly accurate with it, and this is the trade-off for that lower time to kill. When we get into the magazine capacity, we get a standard magazine capacity of 15 rounds with 45 rounds in reserve, and with extended mags, we can bump that up to 22 rounds with 68 in reserve. This is a very respectable magazine capacity. It is the highest magazine capacity out of any of the semi-auto rifles in the game. Moving on to our reload add time, the M1A1 is nothing special in this category. It has a reload add time of 1.67 seconds, which means it's not quite the worst in the rifle category, but it's pretty close to it. Moving on to our aim down sight time, this is an area where the M1A1 definitely excels compared to the other rifles in the game. We get an aim down sight time of 230 milliseconds, which keep in mind the standard rifle aim down sight time is 250 milliseconds, so this basically gives you quick draw for free on this rifle. Same thing goes with our sprint out time, it's a little bit faster than all the rifles in the game at 230 milliseconds. It's not quite as fast as an SMG, but it is definitely the fastest in the rifle category. As for our movement speed, this is standard for the rifle category at 95%, and our aim down sight straight speed is also standard for the rifles at 40%. Now getting into my recommended attachments, this is one of those rifles where quick draw is absolutely not necessary because like I said, it has a faster aim down sight time, but if you wanted to make it even faster, quick draw could be used with this rifle, but generally I just avoid using it. High caliber is an excellent option for this. You're super accurate, so if you want, you can easily pick off those headshots, and like I said earlier, this thing does have a very slow time to kill, but if you manage to shoot one shot in the body and one shot in the head with high caliber, you significantly decrease your time to kill, and now it's suddenly much more competitive with the other guns in the game. 
As for sights with this weapon, I really like using a reflex sight, and it isn't because the iron sights are bad, not by any means, especially with some of the variants with this gun. I feel like the iron sights are generally great, and therefore they can be used sometimes, but I usually find it's nice to have that little bit of extra zoom with a reflex sight, and therefore that's what I would normally run. In addition to this, extended mags is a great choice, and sometimes I like using rapid fire as well. Of course, this is a semi-auto, so if you aren't capable of achieving the maximum fire rate consistently without rapid fire, then rapid fire probably isn't going to be doing too much for you, but I would say it's relatively easy to reach that maximum fire rate, so rapid fire is a good option for a lot of people. So now let's get into a couple class examples I have for you guys. With both of these, we are going to be using infantry, and the first one here, we've got lookout as our basic training skill, and we've got reflex, high caliber, and extended mags. This class is great for kind of hanging back and just picking people off at a distance. Lookout helps a ton with not only seeing name tags at a longer distance, but also seeing more of what's going on around you on the mini-map. And then, like I said, High Caliber is great for reducing that time to kill when you land those headshots. Our secondary and lethal is pretty standard. We've got a Luger with extended mags and a sticky grenade for our lethal. The second example class I have for you guys is designed to be a bit more aggressive. We've got Hunker on there this time instead of Lookout so we can be a bit more aggressive and take that nade damage. We drop the Reflex Sight in exchange for Rapid Fire on this one. Everything else is exactly the same, but with that Rapid Fire it allows us to shoot a little bit faster and therefore decrease our time to kill slightly and make us a little bit more competitive up close. And with that we're going to wrap up today's episode on the M1A1. Personally, I feel like this gun is pretty underrated. It is an excellent gun to use in public matches, even though it does have that really slow time to kill. When you factor in all the missed shots that you often see from people when they're using full auto weapons and they've got a lot of recoil, this gun has a practical time to kill that's relatively in line with a lot of the other guns. Of course though, if you are playing against people that are using better guns and they don't miss their shots, you just don't stand a chance with this weapon. And with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the M1A1 Carbine? Do you like the fact that it's super accurate, or do you not like the fact that it has the slowest time to kill in the rifle category? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.